Okay guys, day 28 and we are just leaving the shelter. I don't know what time it is, but it's early. And guess who caught up to us? We have Hummingbird, Puddles, Grizz, and Pipes all caught up to us last night and Sid Arthur. And um, so that was a nice little reunion. And I don't know, I hammock next to um, Groovy, and I swear to God, he was up all night eating. All I heard was food wrappers every time I woke up. So, I mean, that was late. I don't know what time it was, but it was like the third time I got up to pee. I still hear him munching on food. Oh. So, I don't know. That was crazy. Yeah. Okay, so for dinner last night, I had a spam single. I had strawberries and cream, oatmeal with extra strawberries added to it. I had two hot chocolates mixed with a carnation instant breakfast and some garlic and herb mashed potatoes. Um, then for breakfast this morning I had a cream of wheat chocolate cream of wheat, coffee, and hot cocoa mixed together, and oh, I think that's it. That's where we're at right now. I'm just trying to get up over this mountain. I think we have 14 to do today, which lines us up for like five in the morning four or five in the morning, something like that, to get into the little, the Laurel Hostel or something, I'm not sure, but we think that one's open, so hopefully I can get there, hopefully my packages come over at Hemlock Hollow, and Applesauce will be able to pick that up and bring it to me over here at Mile 311.9 maybe 311 something so yeah that's the plan oh guys look up here there's a tower let's see if I can get a better better view you see it up there tower. Let's go check it out. Well, the trail never took us up to that tower. Um, so, whatever. Guess we're going this way. Here, PR, get a drink. You thirsty? Look, a little stream. Get a drink. Good boy. Yesterday was a rough day with that hostel being closed and my package not being there yet and it was Sunday and I like really started missing my kids and really kind of stressing about them not having me at home during such a stressful time as the COVID-19 craziness. And I'm just kind of thinking about my options as far as pausing this hike and going home or staying on the trail and trying to figure out what's the best thing to do for everybody's health. Um, so yeah, just did a lot of thinking yesterday.
a nice morning. It's like 10 o'clock, low 60s, sunny, breezy. I'm loving it. This is perfect. PR, stop pulling. If my dog wouldn't pull me, it would be even better. So I've been using this banana boat simply to protect baby sunscreen. I think it's like SPF 50, but it's just like a little deodorant style so I don't have to put it on my filthy hands and just rub this on my face. Um, it works really good as far as like convenient. I just keep this in my hip belt pocket. I do have like SPF 30, a little trial size of lotion, sunscreen for like my arms and legs. Um, but I don't use that very much. I use this one on my face constantly. Okay, move. Or stay back. I don't care. Just don't drag me. <sighs> Towers way back there. I heard owls the last couple of nights actually only been a couple nights that we haven't heard owls. PR didn't hear him last night though. He was out. Tits up. He's so silly when he sleeps in the hammock. Pierre's so cute. He's taking a little water break. I'm gonna have some the little pop tart mini things. I guess they're bites. Brown sugar cinnamon. Oh, these are... I picked up a box of these at the Dollar General in <coughs> Hot Springs. 150 calories. One gram of protein. 3.5 grams of fat. Okay. That's that. Section of trails, pretty cute. Hi, PR. I like these Pop Tart bites because they're like more filling and frosting and less of the outer crust. Yeah. Check it out, you guys. It's fucking awesome. Look at those views. PR. What do you think, buddy? Wow. Oh, it's only 54 degrees, you guys. I was off. Way off. Yeah, keeping up with this dog is a challenge, you guys. Whew. Look at him go. Oh, Pierre, wait. Check this out, you guys. Whew. I just popped out right here. Whew. Whew. Look at that. We were over there earlier. Ching, 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 up here. Holy moly. All right, 
Alright, let's see where this goes. Up, up, up. Holy lordy. Lordy, lordy, lordy. Look at this. Oh. Look at that, you guys. Whoa. Oh my goodness. Oh my god, you guys. This is breathtaking. Whew. Let's keep going. Let's see how this trail goes here. Whoa, wait up, PR. Whew. I'll hold you up high so you can see. I'm too short, and these rhododendrons are too tall. PR, stop pulling. PR, I got a real good idea. How about you get back, turd bird? Howard's Rock. probably can't see that. Ugh. Dog's trying to pull me down the mountain and I just want to come up here and get a view. Whoa. Yep, you are. Best puppy ever. Pierre, how are you going to get down? Pierre, do you know how to get down? No, oh, this way. Come on. <laughs> this way. That's it. Good boy. That's a good boy. And it's this way. <laughs> we just passed Grizz. He was making a phone call and PR is mad because... He's not ahead of us. We're leaving him behind. <laughs> He's so silly. All right, PR, you need to get back. You got to be behind me. Good boy. Careful. This way. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Wait up. <laughs> oh boy. Wait. Wait for me. Oh boy, you guys. <gasps> Bee tree hollow to round knob. I don't know what that means, but this is where we're headed. Back on some smooth trail. Grizz and pipes are behind us. Uh, hummingbirds ahead of us. I did not see Sid Arthur this morning or puddles, but they're all ahead of us because everybody was gone when I left. <laughs> Oopsie. But in my defense, I was up all night with that fucking late night snacker person. It was like they were just eating pop tarts all night, you know, crinkly wrapper, crinkly wrapper. Jesus. I kept like waking up thinking there was an animal and it was just that dude like sitting there eating. 
because he spent all of his time raking the campsite and starting a fire in that wind up there on the top of that hill. I'll never understand some people, but whatever. Look at how pretty the trail is, you guys. All these little flowers. We're walking right along the top of this ridge. Got views on both sides. It's a little hazy over there. Man, it is beautiful. Alright, so we did pass the 300 mile mark and I missed it. I didn't see. Oh, Parson, get back. What are you doing? I didn't see the little marker that somebody had made. So, boo. But hey, we've done over 300 miles. So, ta da! And I'm going to eat this. Slim Jim and ow! PR! He's wrapped himself around my legs, rope burning me. Parson, you know how to heal. Now do it. Yeah, Slim Jim. Alright, guys, it's about 12 30. We just passed the shelter at the halfway point for today. It was like just under seven miles. So, seven more to go, and I'm going to stop and do a midday sun slash lunch break, try to get in the habit of that. Alright, pretty sure we're headed up Big Butt Mountain, and that's where I want to take a little resty rest. All these, like, um thorn, thorny bush in here. The pucka brush. It's everywhere. It's like what was up on the edge of Max Patch where you'd try to go pee and you'd get a thorn in your butt. Whew. Ouch, it got me. That's what cut my hand all up. Got both hands. And my leg. All right, let's check this out up here. <clears throat> I guess it's just kind of up over this and then down, 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 down to that shelter. And then if I went another three miles past it, I'd be at the road crossing. I think it might be further than that. I don't know. Still a really nice day, not too hot. Nice breeze. Loving it. Loving it. And it looks like the trail's gonna turn to the right right here. We're gonna sit right here and take a break. Yeah, let's take a break right here. This is a perfect spot. Sit down, take a break. We can see back over that field. All right, I'm gonna have a couple packages of crackers, an emergency, and a bunch more water. And then we'll see. Just take a little break. So I always use my smaller bottle when I do like an electrolyte, drink mix, or an emergency. That way my big water bottle is just clean water always. So I can use that one for the dog. This one has a little bit of 
taste to it sometimes. But I don't do anything like creamy or chocolatey in here. I do that in my cook pot. So I'm just rinsing this out from that emergency. And I'll just drink this. Hmm, look what I see coming. Some hikers. All right, well, here we are. <laughs> Interesting. Onward. All right, we did big butt, and now we're on the back side. And that's another little field, kind of like the one we went through. I don't know what this is. Little roady road. Feely field. Alright, so I just had a, one of those Slim Jim mini things. They're so tiny. PR always gets a bite too, so don't think I get the whole thing. Nice little campsite there. PR, get back. Come on, cut it out. Yeah, I need bigger Slim Jims or something. Uh, I like those Jack Link things. PR, oh, this dog. People passed us. He's going crazy. All right, we're here at the Shelton Graves and the campsites. All right, we stopped for some water. Probably have about two miles to go to the site. PR, get back. Oh my God, this dog. And I'm going to eat something. What am I going to eat? Let's see. What do I have left? Oh. I have a, a mini lemon zest luna. So, let's see. This has 3 grams of fat, 4 grams of protein, and 90 calories. Little baby luna. Raspberry fruit leather, 50 calories, <sighs> zero grams of fat, zero grams of protein. <laughs> Yay. It's like that feeling you get when you finally see the shelter. Like, Yay! We made it! <sighs> Man, that last little bit of downhill killed my knees. <sighs> oh, my legs are barely working. 